Hello, it's Alison from Britsent, and today I'll be giving you 25 common collocations which contain go. First, I'll read the collocation, then I'll give you a sentence which includes the collocation. But don't worry, I'll repeat each example. So, let's get started. Number one, go ahead. The match will only go ahead if it stops raining. The match will only go ahead if it stops raining. Number two, go crazy. I thought I was going crazy until I realised they were twins. I thought I was going crazy until I realised they were twins. Number three, go abroad. My parents don't enjoy going abroad. They prefer to staycation. My parents don't enjoy going abroad. They prefer to staycation. Number four, go blind, go deaf. My father must be going deaf because he turns the TV up so loud. My father must be going deaf because he turns the TV up so loud. Number five, go bald. He doesn't want to go bald, so he pays for expensive hair treatments. He doesn't want to go bald, so he pays for expensive hair treatments. Number six, go grey. Dame Helen Mirren isn't embarrassed about going grey. Dame Helen Mirren isn't embarrassed about going grey. Number seven, go quiet. He went quiet and then burst out crying. He went quiet and then burst out crying. Number eight, go into detail. She didn't go into detail, but she said she had a family emergency. She didn't go into detail, but she said she had a family emergency. Number nine, go into debt. Payday loans make going into debt far too easy. Payday loans make going into debt far too easy. Number ten, go missing. Why does one of my socks always go missing after I wash them? Why does one of my socks always go missing after I wash them? Number 11. Go on TV. I would only ever go on TV if you paid me. I would only ever go on TV if you paid me. Number 12. Go on about something, somebody. He bought the PlayStation 5 and won't stop going on about it. He bought the PlayStation 5 and won't stop going on about it. Number 13. Go easy on somebody. My boss could have fired me. But he went easy on me and made me work overtime. My boss could have fired me, but he went easy on me and made me work overtime. Number 14. Go hand in hand with something. I think language goes hand in hand with culture. I think language goes hand in hand with culture. Number 15. Go against somebody, something. I never went against my parents when I was younger. I was far too scared. I never went against my parents when I was younger. I was far too scared. 
Number sixteen. Go for something. Have you ordered your food? I don't know what to go for. Have you ordered your food? I don't know what to go for. Number seventeen. Go after somebody. You can read the introduction, and then I'll go after you. You can read the introduction, and then I'll go after you. Number eighteen, go over something. Can we go over some of the answers in more detail? I didn't understand them. Can we go over some of the answers in more detail? I didn't understand them. Number nineteen, go off. That milk has gone off, so don't drink it. That milk has gone off, so don't drink it. Number twenty, go off. My alarm went off at six a.m. But I snoozed it for an hour. My alarm went off at six a.m. But I snoozed it for an hour. Number twenty-one, go off something. I used to love watching Friends, but I've gone off it recently. I used to love watching Friends, but I've gone off it recently. Number twenty-two, go up to somebody. I saw Tom Holland in Tesco, but I was too afraid to go up to him. I saw Tom Holland in Tesco, but I was too afraid to go up to him. Number twenty-three, go about something. The burger was so big, I didn't know how to go about eating it. The burger was so big, I didn't know how to go about eating it. Number twenty-four, go over somebody's head. The lecture was so advanced and complicated that it went over my head. The lecture was so advanced and complicated that it went over my head. Number twenty-five, go off on something. My mother went off on me when I arrived home at three a.m. My mother went off on me when I arrived home at three a.m. I hope those twenty-five collocations were useful. That's all for today. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.